Monday, March 15, 2021. Hello, good people. It's a pleasure to have you back for this brand new edition of the Press Review on GDC Plus TV. Newspapers published today carry a good number of stories, amongst which Sisiku Ayoktabe's disclosure to Jeune Afrique, the Guardian Post, with which we open this edition, says the leader of the Ambazonia separatist movement, who together with nine other collaborators is currently serving a life sentence at the Yaoundé Kondengi prison, told the international news magazine that they are in talks with the government to seek solutions to the Anglophone crisis. The story continues on page 3. In other news, the Guardian Post tells us that an imminent reorganization of CPDM sections looms around and the battle could be deadly in Santa Mesam Division in the northwest region of Cameroon. The paper says it has it on good authority that calms and deep cracks have already emerged within the CPDM Mesam 2 section, even though the road to the reorganization exercise is still several miles away. The feared battle pitting the incumbent section president, Fru Jonathan, and those who want him replaced is already in the making. From one party to another, we get into the Social Democratic Front Party chair tussle affair with the Horizon newspaper, which carries as main headline, OC tipped but Frunzi wants John Donatus. To know how far this chair tussle has gone to, grab a copy of today's edition of the Horizon newspaper. We stay with the Green Paper to talk tribute to the late Batonye Charles Chakunte party from Akere Muna, a former Batonye. The former who died on October 4, 2020 in France, was buried over the weekend in his native Day Division in the West Region. From the horizon, we move into the Post newspaper, which comes back on Sisiku Ayoktabe's disclosure to Jeune Afrique. Secessionists are those who govern Cameroon, not us. These, according to the paper, were words from the Ambazonia leader. During the interview granted Jeune Afrique, he declared, and I quote, We have not given up. Our quest for a free and independent Ambazonia is beyond us. If this is the price to pay, we will pay it. End of quote. For more insight on his declaration, grab a copy of the post published this Monday, March 15 and read page 5. Still with the post, get to know the opinion of Honorable Tomainon Joya, Interim National President of the Cameroon Democratic Union, CDU, and Mayor of Fumban on the reasons behind the crisis rocking the two English-speaking regions in Cameroon. According to her, the crisis was caused by the violation of the terms of the Fumban Conference in 1961. The politician was speaking as guest on the program La Vérité en Face over Equinox TV recently. Page 12 has more for you. We end this press review with the Chronicle Times. The paper carries as main headline, Armed Conflict in Northwest, Southwest, Human Rights Watch Chronicles Amber Atrocities. It writes that the underending of Amber fighters also dominate the content of another report released by the Center for Human Rights and Democracy in Africa, in which the military is as well blamed. And that does it for what the papers had to say today. Thank you so much for keeping the rendezvous. Don't forget to comment and subscribe to our YouTube channel so as to enjoy the variety of videos dished out. Have a blessed week.